the dead from the 40 servants is a card that kind of works on a few levels. The first is obviously it's about the dead and the people who've died and our ancestors and, you know, people who've moved on from this life into whatever it is that happens when you die. So it's a kind of a representation of that so that we could, you know, talk to them or, you know, have some sort of influence. Because even if you come from the whole point of view that when you die, you die, that's it. There's still echoes of people that go down through the years, through the centuries. And depending on the type of person they are or the influence they had when they were alive, you know, that, that kind of echo or that kind of influence can go on forever. And you can look back through your own kind of history or your family history and see people who might have inspired you or where certain traits or ancestral traits or ideas or, you know, modes of doing things where they came from. Or you could look to the dead to see, you know, some traits or some attributes that you would like to have in your life that you don't have now, or, you know, just or learn from the past, which leads nicely into what the, the dead, the second and probably more important part of what the dead represents is learning from the past, not only from ancestral past or humanity's past, but from your own past, from, you know, learning from your mistakes. And we often see in our lives certain patterns that happen or certain ideas that repeat and repeat over or certain troubles or that kind of thing that happened to us over and over. And it's because we probably haven't learned the lesson from that. And and it's not necessarily as if there's someone there saying he hasn't learned the lesson, let's get this, you know, this situation done again. It'd be just a case that these kind of problems will manifest if they're not sorted out. Like if you're an angry person, then you're going to find that there'll be an awful lot more things to be angry about. And that'll be the pattern that'll come across. Or relationships, people, you know, in abusive relationships is often said will end up in abusive relationships because the pattern isn't broken. So the dead is a very useful servant in this situation to break old patterns, learn from the past, learn from things that went wrong or, you know, just learn your mistakes of what you've, you've done. And also with the added inclusion of learning from humanity's greater mistakes or to have the wealth of knowledge of all of what humanity has done up until now. You know, so that you can learn these things without having to go through the hardship of doing the mistakes. Learn from other people's mistakes or from other people's triumphs or from other people's, you know, great discoveries about life or, you know, um, how they approach life or whatever. So we'll go to the book. The dead shows us our connection to our ancestors and humanity's past. She encourages us to learn from the past so that we don't make the same mistakes over and over. This servant is all about the lessons learned from history, your own personal history and our collective human history. The dead suggests that you should heed the lessons, warnings and advice from those who have gone before you. She reminds you that there is a huge amount of wisdom available to you from the experience of the entire population of the world including all who have long since died. The dead ask you to reflect on your past experiences so that you don't make the same mistakes again. For instance, are you making the same mistakes in this relationship as you did in a previous one? Are you ignoring the experience of those who have gone before you and think that you know better than they do? Are you diminishing an old-fashioned idea? Are you dismissing an old-fashioned idea or method simply because it is old? Are you ignoring messages and teachings of deceased friends, relatives or people of note? The dead can be used for general ancestor work. An offering to the dead is an offering to your ancestors and the mighty dead, and you should thank them for all they have done. Remember, you would not exist if it weren't for all of those who came before you. If someone closest to you passes, you can ask the dead to help them bring safely to the other side and to look after them as they make their way onto the next stage of their existence. You can ask the dead to carry any message to the deceased. The dead servant can also be used to connect to any part of the past, such as family history, personal history, or even the history of the area you live in. The dead is an exceptional servant for use in emotional healing. If there are parts of your past that need healing, you can ask the dead to assist you to send love or comfort in a time in your life that you need it most. The dead can help you to reconnect with parts of you that you thought were long gone, long gone or even dead. Old hatreds or arguments with dead friends or relatives can be appeased by or mended using the dead servant as a conduit between the parties. The dead can be asked for general guidance on all matters. She's hugely knowledgeable as she's access to the entire history of human thought and deed. 
That last bit is kind of reminiscent of the theosophy idea of the Akashic Records, where all the knowledge of the world and everything has been written down and is available somewhere. So the dead can be used to access these things. A great servant, a real um, well-rounded, lots of lots of stuff to, to use, and it, you know covers a wide uh, gamut and a good wide area of, of work that we can be used with it. So that's the dead servant. Uh, check check her out and see. Um, See if it's for you. I assume it will be at some point because we're all going to experience death and decay and all that at some point in our lives. So someone better to get to know now than, uh, than later when it, you know you might find it too hard to initiate contact. But open at all times. So that's the dead from the 40 servants. So if you want to find out more about the 40 servants, you can go to the40servants.com and there you will find all the information you will need to start working with the 40 servants. You'll also find links to where you can buy the grimoire and where you can buy the deck and all the information that you could possibly ever want on the 40 servants will be there.